Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. I am here with my moving vlog, or the little bit of a moving vlog that it is because I really wanted to film so much for you guys, but the move was just so rough, a little bit stressful. There were so many boxes, there were so many things to do that a lot of the times I didn't even remember to like bust out my camera and film. So I did film a little bit. I know I filmed the home that we moved out of and of course I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my new apartment so you can check it out. It's not nearly ready, of course I will always do a finished house tour or apartment tour when I get it all done but we're still in the process I've only been moved in for about a week and a half so there's still so much mess and so many boxes so many different things to buy it's just so much stuff to do when you move it's the first time that I really ever moved by myself um, you know as an adult all the other times that I've moved is with my parents when I was a little girl and stuff but pretty much the house I left at I had been at for the last 26 years so it was a little bit bittersweet what we did was I lived with my parents we had a five bedroom home and it was just a big house with a big pool and a big yard a lot of things that we never even used anymore it's things that basically i used a lot when i was younger and a little girl when my sister and brother lived with me but pretty much it was just us three so we kind of made the decision i wanted to kind of get my own place as well but i also didn't want them to be too far away from me so that you know i can kind of still be with them and take care of my parents so what we ended up doing was we moved into a condo building and they have an apartment on the sixth floor and i got my apartment on the third floor so that's pretty much what happened it was just really exciting but like i said it was bittersweet because it was our childhood home pretty much where we've lived at for 26 years you know so it's a big move but this has just been so convenient and we're just so excited about the place that we got we love it it's beautiful and now it's just kind of having fun and organizing everything so I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on everything that I do. For now, I'm just kind of kind of show you a little bit of what the craziness that was these past few weeks. And I'll just kind of show you a little bit of what I've done, what I've bought. I mean, like I said, it's not nearly as ready and it's still a mess. So I'll do an updated apartment tour when everything is set. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video.
so I'm here checking in. I am here in my new bedroom. So honestly, there's still so much work to do. And since I really haven't had a chance to sit down and really do many videos, I just wanted to vlog for you guys. I did film a few things, you know, before I moved. And, you know, I've kind of filmed a little bit here and there. But it's just been such a crazy time. I'm still unpacking, but I have done a lot of work in the apartment. My bedroom is almost ready. I mean, there's a lot of things missing, like the actual bed frame, the headboard, and everything. But you guys probably remember, you know, my old bedding from my old place. Um, yeah, so it's just been a crazy time, and I just wanted to check in with you guys today. Today, I actually want to introduce you guys to my realtor. She's here. She's awesome. I invited her to dinner, and it was just such a tough experience, this whole, like... You know, I, the selling of the house, the buying of the house, just the whole process of looking for a condo that, like, I really liked. I went to so many condos, and I just, it was just hard. Some things you liked, some things you didn't like, some things were too expensive, some things were, like, beautiful on the outside but crappy on the inside. It was just so many different things, and, like, she helped me out so much. So I do want to introduce her to you guys. Hold on, we had dinner. Let me show you also some of my Christmas decor. Look at this. I can't. I love how you painted this and white now, this box. You like it? Look, yes. this was at my old house and it was green and I painted it white. And then these are a bunch of like the white and blue type of like ceramic things mm -hmm. that my mom had and I took all those. So there's a really important person that I wanted to introduce to you guys because she was here tonight for dinner and she's pretty much the reason why this whole moving stuff all happens and she's my realtor and she's right here with me so I had to put her in the vlog today. Hi. This is Catherine and she is my buddy, the best, the lifesaver who helped me out through this whole crazy Oh my god, process. I'm blushing. <laughs> yes. She's the bomb. She's from beautiful real estate or beautiful Miami real estate, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful Miami real estate, Catherine Ryan. And um, I highly, highly recommend her. Thank because, you, Bowen. Yes, <laughs> because this was a very rough process and I had never done this before, <laughs> let alone like sell my parents' house and get two condos all at the same time. And then we you moved within what, like a month? Yeah, like, really quickly, like, like super quick closing. It was really, really You're quick. You're like, what? They want to close so quick? Yes. yes. So yes. it was close. It was crazy closing, crazy move. Um, and let me tell you, the realtor is like your best friend attached to the hip throughout that time. And I was so glad that it was her <laughs> just because she helped me out so much. She was always there for me texting. You know, she was, it was intense. I'm a little intense with this stuff. I would ask all these questions. I was always like worried about the deadlines and worried about all these things. And she was always like, relax, don't worry. I got it covered. <laughs> no, she it was, was over tonight and I haven't really been able to film because it's been so crazy. I'm still unpacking. The makeup room is a mess, but she was over here tonight. I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of the apartment and I really wanted to introduce her because I thought she really had to be in this video for you guys. And she this became woman, a good friend. Aw, this woman is amazing. She <laughs> helped her parents move from a house that they have been in for over 20 years, 26 years, and moved them into a new property that she calmed their nerves. She helped them throw away a lot of things and she all did it while working. So I don't know how she did it all. Uh, there was tears in the end. Yeah. A lot of emotions. I think I had a nervous breakdown at the end. <laughs> But she was very amazing. Um, she, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine anyone better to work with. Whatever I needed in the house to to uh, to be changed or to be adjusted, she did. Um, very gracefully, never complained. Was really amazing. And the best thing of all is after she bought the property, she didn't stop texting me. You know, some some uh, clients drop off the earth and then I never hear from them again, and yeah. I'm so sad. Oh. Um, unless I reach out to them, I never hear from them and she was like no Catherine you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna get, get rid of me, me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. we still text crazy text um we, talk about share, we share Louis Vuitton bags to see which one's the next one that we're gonna get and we either approve them or we veto them yes either and this yeah or this. So we just kind of kept in touch and I don't know I just wanted to make sure that I told her you have to be in my moving <laughs> vlog in my video because pretty much like she helped me make this all happen and she guided me through the whole process and it's hard, and I've heard but it was worth it. Right? It was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. And I've heard 
great things about realtors. I've heard really bad things about realtors. <laughs> but I mean, you definitely need someone that you trust. And I trusted this girl all the way. So mm -hmm. I really wanted her to be in Thank the video. You for your <laughs> Let me just show you quickly my Christmas decorations. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year for Christmas, I pretty much did a tree that was mint green and silver. So then this year, I didn't really want a major hassle of decorating a really big tree. And um, I ended up just getting this one on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below, but I just saw that it wasn't available anymore. It's a five foot tree, it's fake. <laughs> And it has like the, um, you know, the little frosty snow on it. On it. And then, um, yeah, so this is my decoration for the holidays. So I'm already pretty much set up for the holidays. So I got my FabFit Fun Box for the winter. I kind of wanted to share it with you guys because I'm really not gonna have a chance to do a full on video. But this is the contents of the Fat Fit Fun. So the first item my winter Fat Fit Fun came with is this Mark and Graham color block throw in gray ivory. This is a blanket. It says cozy up with this woven throw which features a striped design and cool fringe detailing. This is normally $49. And this was, I think, in everybody's box, except other people might have gotten it in natural and ivory. I got it in gray and ivory. Next, from the brand, this says Moroccan Gold Series Treatment Mask. This is a hair mask. And this one has a price of $49. And then the little catalog says that you either got this or you got this headband and pop-up glove duo. I got this, is it black or black eye mask? And this is a hydrogel eye mask with hyaluronic acid. You know, it's kind of like to depuff your under eye area. This is also an item you either got, actually this is an item I think that everybody got. From the brand Ahava, I got this hydration cream mask. This one has a price tag of $33. And again, this is another one that everybody got in their winter box. From Thrive Cosmetics, this is a brilliant eye brightener in the shade Stella. This one has a $24 value. And this one says that it's infused with macadamia and meadow foam oil. It's a champagne eye brightener that instantly highlights and brightens. This is what the pencil looks like. And here you see a swatch. It's very, very light. I don't know if you can really tell. From Elevate, I got Way of Will Elevate Essential Oil Set. It has sweet orange and eucalyptus oils. And you can put this directly onto your skin. It says it helps you, you know, the eucalyptus helps you with the sore muscles and cold symptoms. And the sweet orange eases stomach cramps and headaches. This has a retail value of $31. This next product I was really excited about, and this is the Orbe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. This one is actually one that I picked myself. This is what it looks like outside of the packaging. So yeah, this is one of the items that I chose. This one retails for $44, and you could either pick a jewelry portfolio, a necklace, or the dry shampoo, and I picked the dry shampoo. I got a lipstick from the brand Bite Beauty. This is in the shade Merengue, and um, I think I actually have this one, but Bite Beauty is a great line. I mean, it's a great brand, and this is the Amuse Bouche line, and I love this line. This retails for $26. But I just, I have tried these lipsticks before. I have a ton of them and I really love them. Meringue is a really pretty nude color. From Sherry Matthews, this is the Acupuncture Jade Stone Roller. It retails for about $45. And it says it's, a, it's no wonder this anti-aging beauty tool has been used by empresses for centuries. The Jade Roller helps stimulate energy and promotes a feeling of facial relaxation. So this is actually another one that I chose. I had the option of these textured socks and a pure be your selfie palette but i chose this because i just thought it was something different that i really didn't have 
And then this is the last item. This one I actually bought. It was an Adam item. This is by Aisha Curry. And it was just like this cute little mug that said, love you latte. So I ended up getting this. This time I really only found one product of the add-ons that I wanted to buy. Last time I remember in my last um, subscription or my last box that I got, I got a bunch of Adam products, but this time I just ended up getting one. So I thought this was really, really cute. Pretty much so everything that I got in the Fat Fit Fun winter box. So I'm excited to test some of these products out, especially the dry shampoo. Definitely want to try this treatment mask. And um, yeah, and all these different products. I think this is a cute little mug that I'm going to put in my kitchen this is pretty much my bedroom so i am missing a bed it doesn't ship till january i'm missing this furniture is like the mirrored furniture that is from pottery barn i got the two night tables one there one there and i got like the little tower dresser with the six drawers i'm missing another dresser that goes here that is shorter but wider it has less drawers but the drawers are bigger just got my curtains this week so i kind of miss my old curtains because they were like full-on blackout you know that at nighttime it was like pitch black i mean i'm sorry like in the middle of the afternoon you can close those blinds and it was pitch black these are pretty good it's not like it's that bright but they're not blackout they're like black something else that is not so you know strong i do miss the other ones but these are so much prettier and I guess the other ones, you either open them or you close them. And these are really cool because I got the, I got it electric. So I have a remote control, but you can kind of like lift it a little bit and then you stop it. So if it was a daytime, you'd be able to see outside perfectly through the little spaces. Like these spaces are the spaces where you can see on the outside. And then these are the spaces that are completely blacked out. So for the evening, I just kind of close them back up. Then you like pause it right there. I can probably go a little bit more. You pause it right there. And then that's a the part that now I'm ready to go to bed. Um, I showed you guys these, I think, right? These are from Z Gallery. I got that one and I got that one. That is new. Those are from Oliver Gal. They also, same person who did the paintings that are out here. Remember that was in my bedroom. That was in my beauty room. I decided to put them in my living room. I remember one of my friends told me, that's kind of girly, but I don't care. It's like the first time I have my own place, so I wanted to put my stuff. These are like my favorite paintings, so why not put them in the living room? And let me show you a little bit of, uh, here is you know, a little hallway towards like the closet, which is here. So I still have to organize the closet. It's a walk-in closet. So I was really lucky that I got the walk-in closet. I kind of already organized my shoes. But there's still some that don't fit. And I have the second walk-in closet in the second bedroom, which is still a mess. So I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. There's just so many different things that haven't been, you know, decided or organized. And then this is my bathroom, which has a shower and a tub. I did paint this. I painted this a very light mint green because if you notice in my old house I had all these colorful things and then I kind of wanted to do more neutrals for this house but I did feel that I needed some color so I added the color to the bathroom. So here is the toilet in the back. I added some towel racks and things like that just for space. Oh my God, if you guys have any ideas of storing like linens, please let me know because I really only have the two walk-in closets. Oh, I got this mirror at City Furniture. So I thought it was really nice, it's big. Um, but if you guys have any ideas of how to store linens or like, you know, comforters and things like that, please let me know because I do not have a linen closet and um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with everything and I don't have many drawers in the closets. Oh, I also want to show you guys this little table that I got at um, Wayfair. This is like the entrance. And then I got that cute little table at Wayfair. Isn't that cute? I still need to put some things on the wall. I have like nothing there. So I just wanted a cute little entry table. It's just kind of there right now, but it needs some stuff on the wall. Like I said 
earlier, I will definitely be filming a full-on apartment tour, but that video will probably take a little bit longer. For sure, it won't be up till next year, just because there's still so much stuff that I haven't been able to fix, so many items that haven't really shipped yet that I have ordered, that are on back order. I have some things coming in like mid-January. So it'll definitely be a little bit later. I still have a lot of stuff to do. Like I said, the beauty room is not ready. I pretty much took care of the living room, which you see behind me, and that's not even ready yet. You know, um, the kitchen is pretty much ready, which you see right there, and you saw a little bit of my bedroom. But um, yeah, I still have so much more to do now this weekend i'm going to try to dedicate it to the second bedroom which is where my vanity is and the beauty room and you guys will see all the different things that i'm going to do in there um i got rid of the little green couch that was behind me remember when i used to film in my vanity and i kept a bigger couch that my mom had also a pull out sofa and it's beige so i have to see i just have to see how i organize everything but i definitely wanted to vlog for you guys i'm so sorry that i haven't been posting any videos at all i just haven't even been able to have a second to sit down and film i took about a week off of work when i moved and i mean that even felt like it was just too short it was so crazy you have no idea what it is to pack up a house that you've lived in for like 26 years especially since it was for me and my parents my brother and sister helped us out a lot too but it was just so much stuff we gave away so many shipments to the Salvation Army. You have no idea how many things we gave away that we just had for so many years. Items I found, my mom found, old report cards from when I was like in third or fourth grade, poems, haikus that I wrote. Remember the haikus with the syllables? I mean, there were so many cool things that you found, so it is a little bit bittersweet, but I'm just so excited for the new apartment and, um, they're like three floors away so my parents i'm here for them if they need me anytime i'm like just three three floors down in an elevator and they're here in two seconds and i'm up there in two seconds but i think they're just really excited for this like new stage in our life and um i wanted to share it with you guys but it was a really crazy time and now i feel that i'm kind of like settling into the new place now i'm doing the fun part of like organizing and buying stuff and decorating whereas before it was like oh my god the move and the deadline and you have to be out and you have to clean and you have to hire movers and then the movers it was just so much and um for a person who's never done it i went from doing none to three in the span of like such a little time but I will be vlogging for you guys. I will definitely be doing my end of the year, like the favorite products of 2018. That's a video that I will not delay. So that's gonna come up um, either the first few days of January or the end of Janu or the end of December, I don't know. I'll probably have to film it like here. I think the lighting is pretty good. I mean, right now it is like 12:20 at night. Um, and I think the lighting in the living room area is kind of nice. So I could probably do some videos here. In the meantime, probably won't be doing a november favorites um because i think that might be a little bit complicated but i guess it all works well i really haven't tried many products in november the last video i posted was october favorite so it's been a while since i posted a new video but i just thought that you guys this one i've been filming actually this vlog i have been filming it since the beginning and i always wish i could film more and more but just the time never came or I was just so frustrated that the last thing in my mind was to pop out a camera but I did film a little bit I also have some videos on my phone which hopefully I have inserted into this video and you guys got to see like maybe when the apartment when I came to see it the first time that I loved it when it was empty um but yeah so I just thought I would sit with you guys a little bit today and just finish chatting with you guys and just put this video together and upload it. So hopefully I'll do that this weekend. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this crazy random vlog. I feel like the editing in this vlog is going to be so impossible because it has been all over the place but i do share a little bit about my moving experience and i did want to show you guys a little bit of the new apartment so that next time you guys see me film a video um i won't be in the house anymore that you guys are so used to but i definitely miss you guys i miss filming for you guys i will be filming again once i have everything up and running 
but yes you will definitely have the 18 favorites of 2018 that video is gonna go up probably in the new year and um and then i'll just get back onto my schedule once i'm done organizing everything i just wanted to tell you guys that i will be back with more videos later on that i miss you and um i really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and as always i'm so grateful and so thankful that you guys are watching be lounge makeup and i'll talk to you guys very very soon bye